Cool. Good to go with the clap. That was a bad clap. What? Uh, that's Run it okay. back. Run it back. Run it back. Oh, oh yeah, Nikki found something. <laughs> you you're, that's your reply to what I'm gonna say. No, you're just gonna say like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Hey, is that story old or told? Fuck no, baby. That's a new one told story. A uh, new untold story. It's a fresh big untold story. Uh, new Untold Story episode uh, 388. I feel like that's pretty close. closest. Yeah, 387. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. What's 387? Um, China's Hyperloop train uh, just reached speeds of 387 miles per hour in a test run. It's one of the harder words to say in a Chinese accent. <laughs> Don't do it. Hyperloop? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, knee, what, what is it though? Poles. Say knee poles in the Chinese accent. Knee poles? Yeah. Oh, jeez. It sounds like nipples. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's huge. <laughs> it is huge. It is huge. 387 miles per hour. People will be able to commute from Tianjin to Shanghai. Really? That's like, you could never do that before. That's people uh, in Mook, American Mook, terms. Can you search Tianjin? No. Yeah. Yeah. Let's try to spell it. T I N G I N. <laughs> Song by Cup of Joe. <laughs> That's like people being able to commute from Wheeling, West Virginia to Chicago. Wow. Or even farther. Wow. In or the Isle of Armor to Tokyo City. Where's the Isle of Armor? <laughs> this guy. Where oh. is it, Rudy? It's in the southern province, like southern peninsula. This is Pokemon land. Mm -hmm. I was trying to lay you up. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't remember the Isle of Armor. Oh, it's what game is this from? Sword and Shield. Yeah, I, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't know that. Look how great that looks. So Isle of Armor looks amazing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> have you seen the uh, the antagonists of Pokemon Sword and Shield? No, you'd love them. They're Swordbert and Shieldbert or something. <laughs> there are these two <laughs> British guys. Uh, you'd you'd love these guys. They're very British. No, uh, uh, not Chairman Rose. Spoiler alert. S search like Pokemon Sword. I think his name's Shieldbert. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> what? <laughs> and his hair looks like a big fucking shield. Yeah, he's one of the bad guys. That's a dude or like a thing? That's a dude. He's like one of the bad trainers at the end. You have to beat him. <laughs> Him and Swordward, his older brother. Swordward? Swordward and Shieldbert. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Find another picture. Find them both. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah there they are. <laughs> Swordward, Wait, and, the Swordward and Shieldbert? Swordward and Shieldbert. Yeah, you have to fight them at the end. <laughs> They're the antagonists of Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> Swordward looks like a penis. He's a sword! <laughs> What do you mean he's a sword? Look at his hair. It's a blonde It has the boy. handles. He looks like a... And that, he, that's shield Bert. That is a dick and balls on his head. <laughs> intimidating, intimidating villains. Uh, at the Pokemon 387 is fucking Turtwig. Turtwig's great. It's a starter. No. Turtwig's great. Tur the shell on its back is made of soil. <laughs> if the shell is moist, then it is healthy. Okay. So this, it so won't be its hard. Shell, it's a baby, which is dude. its ultimate protection from environmental dangers. Its armor is made of soil. Look what it evolves Got into. Got it. Look what it evolves into. I, I've seen it. It's very cool. It's very the, cool. The, the, the evolutions are great. That's Grottle. That's the second one. But it's a turtle with like a, a whole forest. island on its back. A whole yeah. fucking. I can get into that. You can get into that. And it has to start from somewhere. If it started off cool, the evolution process wouldn't be worth it. Torterra. Torterra's dope. It's got a mountain yeah, like range on that. its back, dude. Yeah, I like that. Thank Woo. you. So yeah, it just can't start off cool. Okay. Is that, is that, is that your three? That's all, that's all there is, yeah. Oh, um, the amount of murders in New York City in 2023. Is that a lot or a little? Feels Open like for debate. A lot. 
Apparently, it's significantly down. Okay. Chicago is in the 600s. Okay, a year. Down. So, so I think it would average out to, in Chicago, that would mean 12 people per week. Oh, that's a lot. Would you willingly live somewhere if you're like 12 random people are going to die a week? We are, but I don't quite know if it's random. It's probably disproportionate to area and uh, behavior. Sure. Is that a lot? But also, I, yeah, that, it's, I think it is, man. Yeah, 12 people a week. My bleeding heart, Cleveland. Mm. What's number one? St. Louis usually has the Houston. highest. Houston, really? What, what stats are these? I, these are the wrong stats. New York, Indianapolis. This is, yeah, this is wrong. People always, these are just big cities. I think it's just by population. People no. always quote danger um, and safety when talking about big cities. Like, well, is that really an issue? I think you could find yourself in trouble in any city if you were like looking That's for what I'm it. Saying. I've never been close. No, I don't think I've ever seen a gun. I've not. I've never I've heard never a gun. Seen a gun? Or yeah, or heard a gun? I've never touched. Yeah, you never touched a gun. You've never shot a gun. Yeah. We, we oh have, yeah, we, we did. Yeah. yeah Was that your first time shooting a gun? I th- yeah. Oh, you were nervous. That's why you're you drinking so tell. much while doing it. I was it. wasted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, flipping. Dude. He had a my double th- barrel my shotgun. My thumb was going wild. You, you, yeah. I just couldn't stop touching it. You love touching the, the gun, and you were just. That was really unsafe, and that was our first rediscovering America. You, we were wasted shooting guns. Uh huh. Well, they were driving like the dirt bikes like crazy. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna s- touch the trigger. Yeah, you did. Mm-hmm. But Safety you tried to up. flip up the double barrel shotgun and both the bullets came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, Mook, actually, can we go to it? Yeah, that's probably uh, the, go to YouTube. That's probably the best outcome is the bullets falling out. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. It was, ba- it was batteries that fell out. No, it dude, was it was two bullet shells. In my head, it was batteries. Uh, it's the first one ever. So our pilot. No, go back. Here he goes. Oh, Here no, goes. we did with Sydney. Right we did no. it with Tennessee, too. We shot in Tennessee with Sydney. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I've, I've, you shot a 50 I've cal. More guns than most. Yeah, I'm watching Mook flounder right now. Is you got to give me infuriating. The city. You got to give me the city. Uh, it was just the, it was the first one ever. I don't think it was a city name. I just went to the playlist. So we did a rediscovering America original in Illinois, in kind of mid- Midwest, Midwest. Midwest. Sorry, Mook. There, see, yeah, there was no name. And let's go to. Oh, this was fun. Look how young we look, dude. There. Wow, great. You're ready to hit the range and play some pistol blackjack. Hold on. You're going to have to fast forward a little bit. I don't think you hit. Yep, there. Wait, you never been around guns before? <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Everybody's afraid. It's all on the wrist. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was pathetic. Don't worry about the trigger. So back up a little bit. Yeah, there it is. You're, this is horrible gun safe. Look at the owner of the guns run away. <laughs> yeah. Watch it right here. There we go. Guns before? And what do I do? See, look, dude. You were. This yeah, was, look, I made him skip and dance. <laughs> this is a seasoned gun owner. Yeah, that's, this guy has this owns like dynamite, and he's afraid around you with this. <laughs> <Yeah>. Nick raised <laughs> his hands. Yeah, dude. But you can even go to the beginning. Like you're wasted here, right? Oh yeah, I off of fruit-infused malt beverages. Man, your face yeah, you had the drunk face. Well, g- fa- back up a little bit. We're we have all these guns out and dynamite, and Kyle wheels out a cooler. Like before uh, we even shot one. <laughs> yeah, look, I have it in my. Oh, my oh that's a strawberita. <laughs> your drink. <laughs> oh yeah. We were like, where the fuck's Kyle? We went into the house to get a cooler. And I'm not coming out with that girl. No, uh, no, She no. just happened to be there. <laughs> she <Sure> does look <laughs> like <laughs> We're not walking. Look at Kyle. Is that your first one? That was out of necessity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, it wasn't. Because you're in the background drinking them before that even I'm happened. I'm saying I needed that strawberry <laughs> to, to stay awake. What a fun time. I was. Big shout out to the cannabis cop. Let's see who that is. Shout out to Dave. Yeah, Southern Illinois. Um, I put together a ranking. I'm gonna put. I'm trying to open up more. You know, last week was fun showing 
you know, WFB. Yeah, no, I'm sure so I'm just trying to cathartic show more of my interest. So I'm going to give a top five every week. Okay. okay. So this week is my top five middle initial guys. Jeff D. Lowe doesn't count. Oh, I'm these out. are huge. Uh, number one, Arthur C. Clarke, the author of 2001 A Space Odyssey and Childhood's End. Died in Sri Lanka, but before it was Sri Lanka. He moved there before it was Sri Lanka. What was it called? Uh, sad. Yeah. Sa C E Ceylon. Yeah. Cylon. Did you know that? Yeah. Was that, uh, yeah, that is correct. Uh, number two is Alfred E. Newman, the uh, mascot for Mad Magazine. Look at him. Oh, the little boy, mm. the redhead. Wait. Alfred E. Newman. Wait, you, these are just the way it sounds. I, these are no. I like the guys. I oh, love these this are guy. your favorite. These are my favorite middle initial with guys. Middle, you don't like the way the middle initial. Forms. No, 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 okay. no. I thought that. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's a rascal. His rascal eyes boy. Are mad. Haunting even... face. Oh, um, yeah. I actually have some of his quotes. He's a snarky little boy. I can tell. Um, he's known for saying. <clears throat> Nowadays, a balanced diet is when every McNugget weighs the same. <laughs> these are quotes that would be like, these are like Yogi Berra quotes, not a little rambunctious boy. He said that? Yep. Well, not really, Mook. <laughs> uh, I don't, yeah. There's one that he has that's just. That's scary. Blood is thicker than water, but it makes lousy lemonade. Thanks, Alfred. Classic boy. Yeah, no one. What does that mean? No fucking clue. You can tell how dated this. Like, uh, where's there's one about. There's one he has about the opera because there's nothing little boys more, love more than the thicker opera. Thicker than water would make lousy lemonade. You're the, right. The thickness does nothing to do with the quality of lemonade. Don't say, but it makes lousy lemonade. Say, and it makes lousy lemonade. Al Even that's redundant. That's Alfred E. Newman. No, he, he, ra rascal little boy. Uh, number th Samuel L. Jackson. What's mm -hmm. the L stand for? Any idea what the E stands for in Alfred E. Newman? Edwin. Enigma. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Promise. Promise. Samuel L. Jackson is Leroy. Uh, like, yeah, I could have got there. Yeah, you could have got there pretty quick, I'm sure. Uh, I have him on here because have you guys seen Kingsman? Yeah, yes. he's the villain in Kingsman, and he just decided to give the villain the thickest lisp of all time. Yeah, himself. Awesome. Yeah, it was a creative he's decision. The villain. I think the first villain with a lisp had to have been. It's a f it's a fun movie. It's a fun fun movie for sure. The billionaire genius. Was he in, uh, what else was he in? Well, he was in Deep Blue Sea. So I watched that rated R movie hoping to see my first set of tits, Deep Blue Sea. But instead, I saw the best death ever with him. Because I thought he was the main character of the film, Second Death. Mm. He was the second death. Yeah, because he was what like, we're going to swim out of here. What had it, what was, the, what made it the best? Death? Watch it. It's so unexpected. It's all right, Mook. You, we'll certainly hear the lisp on the images tab. <laughs> I've had it. I fucking had it. <laughs> yeah, I think you need to like, get to the bottom of this. Like, you're clearly sick of him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mook, fire back. I, uh, someone else can run the computer. Obviously. Let's play. Uh, let's play <laughs> good cop, Brad cop with him. Good cop, Brad cop. Yeah. Who, what should I be? You'll be Brad cop. All right. Mook. Looks Mook. Mook. Mook look at I us. I know. I know. Deep down, you're a good kid. I know your intentions are there. They're pure. But what I really need to get out of you, I just want to know the truth, man. I want to know the truth of how everything went down. And I know. Enough, enough, enough. I'm Brad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. What he says is all good, but I'm Brad. <laughs> that's good cop, Brad cop. <laughs> I was like, anus episode two. We, we thought it was G. I still love it. Uh, good cop, Brad cop is one of the better bits. Of all time, Mook, we, know, we never did shit. that before. No. <laughs> we have done that, but that we we should just our humor was just like slightly rhyming. That's all it was. <laughs> Property mostly. Property in the markets. Nothing questionable, if that's your concern. Ah, uh, look, no. I'm just into finding out what caliber person you are. I'm sure you understand that. I most yeah, lisp. Added, added a hungry. lisp. Thanks, Mook. Okay. <laughs> nice. Was he in uh, what what plane movie? Soul plane or snakes plane? Snakes. Snakes plane. Okay. Snakes on a plane. S S Soul plane was uh, Kevin Hart. 
and Snoop Dogg. No, if not, if hijackers, if Middle Eastern hijackers took over the soul plane, <laughs> where would they crash it into? <laughs> we said this on the bracket. Uh, they would crash it into uh, that that wing strip club in Atlanta, Magic City. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> if they or the Wild and Out building, the Wild and Out, uh, the Wild and Out Avengers Tower in Atlanta. Yeah. It's, it has the wild. It's, it's the tallest building in Atlanta. Yeah. <laughs> They've hijacked. <laughs> Hijacking the Soul Plane would be a really good sketch. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! I was. I don't want to make any more jokes. No, no. <laughs> I want to. <laughs> yeah. Where Where do you think they'd crash it? Um. Or what's? I mean, Atlanta is probably the top. Yeah. City. What else would it? Could it be? I don't know. All right. Next middle initial guy is uh, Optimus J Prime. M middle name Jazz. People I don't know, know that. It, this yeah. is the Optimus Prime. Yeah, it's just gave his middle name's Jazz. A lot of Jazz? people don't know that. Yeah. Okay. You like him? Uh, yeah, a lot. Mm -hmm. How could you not? But the whole reason I'm doing this whole thing is because I found <laughs> a middle initial name that rocked me. It's Washington State's mascot, Butch T Cougar. <laughs> Which would be the most haunting lesbian of all time. Yeah. A butch tea cougar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like an old. Yeah, it has a buzz cut. Buzz cut, jack. Old and hot. Oh, but like but, uh, very, very, very lesbian and pumped. Yes. Riddled. Butch tea cougar. Yeah. Like, oh, I, there's a fucking butch tea cougar over there. Yeah. And I was trying to think of a bigger lesbian name than butch tea cougar. And all I have, obviously, I have Shalik Zapus. But yeah, uh, stra strap on <laughs> like strap on softball player, like divorced parents, <laughs> and then Cod McBreath, <laughs> but, <Yeah. God. laughs> but Butch T. Cougar, Cod McBreath. Cod McBreath, but like that is, I can't think of a bigger lesbian name. Like, think of a scarier woman than a Butch T. Cougar, yeah. Mook, just Google a Butch Cougar, <laughs> and then we'd add T to the equation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> no! How? <laughs> Search Butch uh, older woman. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe try Bing. Yeah, that's a good call. You Bing. should be a Bing guy. Yeah. yeah. Why is this autofill? What the fuck? Wait, the Butch flag's just an axe? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the butch flags a throwing axe? That's so <laughs> sick. I'm buying it. Yeah, the butch flag. We gotta is have awesome. it. If we have it's the yeah. Wait, that's so metal. See, Mook, happy accident. Mm -hmm. We need that with the twin. Yeah, flag. we're getting that. Wait a minute. It's purple with a black upside down yeah, looks, triangle. Has like with African a fucking war axe. That looks like a team in Halo. Yeah, <laughs> it does. Dude, I'd be intimidated as fuck by this. Oh yeah. No kidding. You see that on the back of a Subaru, you know it's that's the be but is, is butch like the medical term for that type of lesbian? Is it? Can you be diagnosed with butch? Are you allowed to say butch? Yeah, I think it's yeah, fine. yeah. I think I think they it's rocket. I think it's the antithesis to bear. Wait, what's the lipstick lesbian flag? Wait, butch. Can you say bull dyke? No, no. Okay, <laughs> but but that's would be I wish, I be wish a good we, mascot. I wish we could. <laughs> okay, yeah, I would good love mask. to. I would have yeah. To, yeah. That's the that? lipstick lesbian. That one sucks. That what does sucks. lipstick lesbian mean? A very, very feminine lesbian, I suppose. I was talking about that with someone. That's so exceedingly rare, I feel like. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 That's not good enough. That right there is a little bit of a faker. Every, right yeah, there. like that. I want it to look like the... I, I, <laughs> Butch lesbians look like Harry Potter tertiary characters. They do. <laughs> they dress the same. I, I think she was in Harry Potter. Yeah. Was she in Harry Potter? They look like they all were, be, could be candidates for. Kyle, her. read this headline. Stone Butch. 
but not blue. What? Is that what I said? Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? Why is Stone Keep Bush, going. Stone Keep Bush going. a Keep name? Going. Stone Bush, but not blue. Interview with a, pr- a proud truck dyke. G- <laughs> gay Iceland. <laughs> That's the funniest that headline the, of all time. That is the most niche thing of all time. <laughs> this, we might Who is the, that article for? Of course it was written by Yaz Duncan. <laughs> <laughs> Who read that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who? Who? She. Wait. What? What's it say? Yeah. Often be found drinking a rum and coke. Yaz Duncan. <laughs> Proud writer. Read. The, hit that back one. <laughs> I want to be. Let's become a Yaz Duncan fan. We're Yaz show. Duncan fans. Yeah. <laughs> She's the. Uh, the Bush lesbian. I want to get a coffee mug. Sleep. Talk to me after I'm done reading my Yaz Duncan article. <laughs> I'll never forget the day I heard Trucka Lessa for the first time. She's the truck dyke blogger from Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> she has to be running out of truck dykes out there. They're stranded in the Arctic Circle with only a finite amount of truck dykes. <laughs> she has to be running out of material. The most finite. We have to. That's a rare. That's a rare resource. We have to stock Iceland. That's the nichest thing in the world. Yeah. We gotta f- endow this woman, fund her some way. Endorse? And... You mean <laughs> endow her? Uh, yeah, give her money. Give her some money. Give her a, a bigger penis. dick. <laughs> <laughs> give her money or a dick. You gotta endow this. I woman. want to fund her. I want to stock Iceland with more bull dyke or <laughs> truck truck dykes. That's Read that more, article again. Say. Read the title, the headline. G- Stone a, Butch, but st- not blue. Stone Butch. I mean, first off, is that a name or a, th- is she, a phrase? Is that, is that a photo of Stone Butch? And does not blue mean she's not sad? Stone Butch, but not blue. Again, what is the butt <laughs> tail? <laughs> Stone Butch, but not blue. Interview with a proud truck dyke. <laughs> this is for GayIceland.com. Of course, this is for GayIceland.com. <laughs> the Butch Femme Dichotomy, or Dichotomy, sorry, not sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. yes. So, wait, her name Her name isn't Stone Butch. No, it's... it's Stone Sto- that, uh, we don't know what Stone, Stone Butch, Butch is. Stone Butch, but not blue. What's Stone Butch? Okay. F- Female butchness, or <laughs> what is it? They oh. don't allow their genitals to be touched during sex. What? That's a stone butch. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what's what's blue? How close do they get, though? Yeah, wait. I'm I'm gonna say if you're not getting your genitals touched, it's not gay. <laughs> oh, no. that's what makes it gay. I, yeah, I would. I'm gay, but I don't let dudes touch oh, my yeah. dick. Oh yeah, stone butches are cishats. <laughs> Who would have thought? It but has its own Wikipedia page. Go but, up to the Wikipedia. But that still doesn't explain the uh, but not blue. Oh, it's a I book. This is the book. Oh, the, is it, or an ode to blue balls. Oh, maybe they're get they're still getting off, but not letting the genitals be touched. Uh huh. Interesting. That's crazy. I thought of like a sci-fi. But I'd imagine the blue there means but not sad. Game time, Kyle. You know mm. I love games. You know I love going to games. But you know I don't play games. You never play games. I never will. You'll never catch me playing games. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm being... You. When I'm saying this, you know I'm not... No. It's no clever ruse. Ain't no pin the tail. Ain't, ain't no, no pin duck, the tail. Duck, ain't no goose. bob for apples. It ain't yeah. no duck duck goose. What? Mm. Did you say knock knock goose? Duck. I said duck duck. Um, they, no, you don't do no, knock knock jokes. No, do knock knock do jokes. I don't play. Damage. So when I say this, take it to heart. Game time is the official ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, and I use it to get all of my events. Look, right here on my home screen. It's game time. The white G. Not me, mm-hmm. the logo. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like some of you forget that there are events you can go to. Everywhere. It's not I, just sports, music, concerts, obviously. Ask comedy me what I just shows. bought tickets for. What you just buy tickets for? Mamma Mia. The play. Yeah. Broadway. Oh, yeah. 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 My my two tickets. Orchestra pit. Nikki. Wow. Nikki's lass. Yeah, <laughs> 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 yeah. And they're obsessed with finding you ways to save money on They're tickets. absolutely nutty about it. No. 
I've witnessed it. Go to game time. Um, They have deals. Oh, this is my favorite perp. We talked about it before, but they have deals on tickets right up to the start of the event. If you're a spontaneous dude. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use code UNTOLD for $20 off your purchase. Terms apply. Again, create the account and redeem code UNTOLD for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Yeah. What you? What so, did you think of? I'm, I'm stuck on like the, uh, the dystopian world where every time you come, you get even hornier. You're stuck on that. Yes. C- society would crumble. Mm-hmm. Because you you would turn into like the Mad Max War Boys if you busted, or once. it would, or we would become to st- like f- the war heroes. What? We I don't know. When horniness increases, when libido increases, don't isn't that also like strength, strength and bravery? I think you'd be t- too preoccupied yeah. by like if you got horn if you jer- you get hornier when you come. That's a that, vicious yeah. circle. I couldn't imagine. Let's funny, it's funny you said Mad Max because I immediately thought of this as a Furiosa. Stone Butch? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. She's driving a truck. Looks like a lesbian. Wait, yeah, but she just might be... A Furiosa. Can we go to more Yaz Duncan articles? Yeah, I would love to. On GayIceland.com? Um, hmm. Do you think Yaz Duncan is, is like the barstool Tate of Gay Iceland? <laughs> What do you mean? Uh, yeah, what would that mean? When did she write that? She's not. She doesn't write very often. No. I mean, how many topics can you find? Can in you Iceland? Google? What? what should, I want to get to the bottom of what all this means. Well, I want to know mm. if there's a stone butch flag. Stone butch flag, yes, please. Oh, it's kind of it's a good palette. Yeah. It's a good palette. That looks like a sweater Eric Foreman would wear. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's just the butch flag. Yeah, so yeah, there's different styles of butch flag. Oh, uh, here we go. Stone, stone femme, stone butch. Okay, that's a nice, that's like oh, the Stardew oh. pa- Valley color palette. There is a subreddit, r slash stone butches, only 167 members. Sure. But there's a second subreddit, stone butch bull dyke. <laughs> How many is on there? Oh, that's a user. Oh. Mind. Let's see what she's up to. Or he... She's a stone top. This but how can you be a top if you're stone? Stone Butch Bulldike. You just hover. She, her, Dom, multiple DID, Spoonie, UK, working class, bad mouthed, sex worker, gamer, juggler, <laughs> singer, songwriter, erotica writer, cocky bastard. And then here's the link for nudes. Click the nudes. So, um, that's too many things to be good at any of, all, of them. A jack of all trades. <laughs> that's too many things to be good at. You can't be stone and a juggler. She's, yeah. What is a what is a spoonie? I think you would like to be spooned. You think? What what do you think it is? Someone who just goes to weather spoons a lot. Oh. <laughs> cocky ba- uh, <laughs> real cocky bastard. 666 only fans. $6.66. Wait, so so if you're a stone top and they can't touch your genitals. You get on top and finger blast? Yeah, what do you do? It depends on what the other person what if you, is. Yeah, just two... Can two stones be together? Are they like, are they like oh. magnets? I, I think it would literally be like two stones kicking it. It would, it would be stationary, not touching. Because stone means no touch, right? Genitals. You don't touch the genitals. We need to figure out... I want to figure out what subgenre we all fit into. I'm straight. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. True. True. <laughs> but like, there's got to be more than that. If there's this. Music. Oh yeah. If, if there's like, yeah. Uh, Are there the same subgenres for straight? Yeah. But I bet there should be. What would you be? Chlamydia. Chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> chlamydia. I would be chlamydia. I would be, I would be, I would be uh, uh, a chlamydia bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would. You'd be as a gay man, as a straight man, you're as a chlamydia straight, bottom. I'd be straight chlamydia, cis chlamydia bottom. <laughs> Just getting dumped in, dude. Yeah, it's not my fault. Getting dumped in? No, what? <laughs> what, did <that laughs> what did that mean? Getting dumped in, dude. If you're a bottom, you're getting dumped in. Rudy has chicks yeah. finishing him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you first. <laughs> you do have chlamydia, right? I do not. Okay. I do not. I have before. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, 
last episode? No, <laughs> no, no, that's that's a red herring. <laughs> No, I did not have it last episode, but anyone can have it at any point and not know it. Oh, cool. So technically. You can hear it. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Statistically, oh, yes, statistically, yes. one in five will have it at yeah. any point they say yes. 20 during an episode. 20% of men at any given time uh -huh. during a yeah. podcast uh -huh. will have it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> quick run antibiotics, just off the IR real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, you're stone. Mm. You can't get chlamydia if you're stone. True. But if you get chlamydia, you have to act as a stone. You do. So How so? Because you can't engage in sexual activity unless, right. you're, unless you're a demonic. Oh, look at that stone. one. Go down. Scroll down. Uh, hat, the, f the flat brim. No, right. Yeah. She looks like the lead singer of the story so far. So that to me is uh, that is attractive across the board. Yeah, androgynously hot. Yeah, Andro androgynously hot is uh, interesting. Mm -hmm. That looks like my boy Brendan Nolan. It looks your boy Brendan that looks Nolan. Like your boy Brendan. Yeah, it's my boy Brendan right there. That's every dude that ever broke their forearm on a dirt bike. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He was a skater. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's every dude in, in any West Virginia documentary right there. Actually, yeah. Wait. Go left. Go left. What is this? This is weapons given. Oh, cool. What is this? Weapons assigned to lesbianism. It's like a spectrum. Yeah. High femme would be the, I guess, yeah, the, what do you call the saber? Katana's femme, butchy femme is a war axe. How did the, how did the pistol get in there? Nick, you have the futch tattooed on you. I have a the futch, futch tattooed on me. You have a futch tattooed? I have a futch tattooed on me. What's futch? Femme, femme butch? Oh, is Futch yeah. Femme Butch? I have a broken soft butch tattooed on me. Yeah, you do. I also have a soft butch tattooed on me. That's what I'm... When I get weapons tattooed, it's the symbols for... So Futch is out. What now? Futch is out? <laughs> Futch is out. F wait, what happened? This was two years ago. This must be very out. Or or it's coming back. I don't know. We got to open up like a, a lesbian weapons bar. Yeah. Like a lesbian... Yeah, Look but not axe, not, throwing. not axe throwing. That's been done. What would as lesbians probably want a shot put? <laughs> yeah, a lesbian yeah, yeah. shot put shot bar, put in, mm -hmm. shot put and discus. It's just going to look like the principal from Matilda. <laughs> Everyone is going to be the principal from Matilda to get in. Mm -hmm. Let's open up a lesbian shot putting bar. <laughs> <laughs> which okay, what should we call it? <laughs> I think it'd be awesome. Yeah, le yeah, a lesbian shot put bar. Something and feel track and field. Um, What's a, what rhymes with track? Lap means to lick. Lap? Lap and feel, F-E-E-L. E-E-L-E-D. <laughs> -E -E yeah, lap and field. Lap and field. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It'd be like a warehouse vibe. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be the scariest parking lot, bar. Parking lot has four spaces, Subarus only. Subarus. No, no, no. No parking lot. You got to park like on the grass. Like in, you have yeah. to go off road. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you got like an off-road route. You have to park like in a, when they show like showcase a jeep. Yes, like a yeah. skew on a rock. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that'll be the scariest bar in town. It'll be yeah. It'll Accidentally be the, walking into the lesbian shot put bar. I think it's on a mountain, <laughs> <laughs> on a peak. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it's on like a dock, like <laughs> next to yeah. shipping containers. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Who would have the you guys bouncers be? The bouncers. Of Matilda's principal. Okay. Can we see her? Yeah. The, the, she put that fat boy in the pokey. I forget her. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. She can bounce. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she shot put. No way. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> she was. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. That's crazy. Miss Trenchpool. And then uh, who else would bounce there? We could try to get the guy from Berghain. I feel like he'd fit. Who's that? The famous bouncer from the the rave club in Berlin, Berghain. Oh, I don't know who that is. We couldn't get him. No, we need we need big we need we need cl the clientele to to feel comfortable. Yeah, true, yeah. true, true, true. You search biggest. What about lesbians? Uh, Brock Lesnar's daughter? I don't think she's a lesbian, but she's a shot putter, right? I think we're just naming women yeah, shot putters. Yeah. Miss Trenchpool and Brock Lesnar's <laughs> daughter. Are. Yeah. Are, they're in my top two. We're having a hard time making stretches. Yeah. Oh yeah. You'd be Chelsea from Love Is Blind. Which one's she? The 
Megan Fox. Megan Fox. Now she's the one that claimed what exactly? I just finished it yesterday, so I'm, I'm still in the hip. throes of it. Yeah, I think Miss Trench Bull will be a bouncer, and so will the Pokemon Grim Snarl. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta hire him. Grim. We'll hire. We'll hire Grim Snarl and, and Miss Trenchbull. Miss Trench to be outside of uh-huh. Lap and Field. <laughs> what about the bartenders? <laughs> oh yeah. And what kind of bar are we thinking? Like chalkboard with beers on it? I think it has like those clips with just the chips that like you can't really buy anywhere else. Uh-huh. Like those off-brand Funyuns yeah. that are just called onion rings. Yeah. Like they're made by Utz. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're sponsored by Utz. Yeah. Utz is the biggest les- the biggest <laughs> yeah. butch yeah. brand. Yeah. They're sponsored by Utz. Look at all the Utz chips. Yeah, that is a les- all the lesbians are eating Oh, that's Uts. such a lesbian. <laughs> oh, look at the logo. Yeah. Oh, all the lesbians have their, are eating Uts Red Hot. <laughs> Uts Red Hot. Oh, that's a lesbian. Yeah, that's a lesbian, dude. And look at her just like sneakily reaching oh into the God. bag. Yeah, it's that's perfect. Bar- we got to get her as a bartender. Yeah, we could yeah. get her. She Yeah, she'd be perfect. She's always blushing. Yeah. I feel like Cashy. What is that? Cere- like, cashy cereal yeah, for cashy sure. Cashy cereal <laughs> in a goblet. Yeah. I think we'd have like granola shots. Uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> Hard kombucha. What what do yeah, what's a typical lesbian meal besides cooch? Probably like yeah. What do they eat? What do lesbians eat? Cuz we need to know. Okay, yeah, good. I feel like the I feel like a paleo the dark, bowl, the dark brown chip from Chex Mix. Yeah, they like they like the uh <laughs> just those. <laughs> they they only eat the <laughs> The pumpernickel crisps. The, the, pumpernickel, the pumpernickel crisps from oh, Chex yeah. <laughs> That's all we'd serve. Yeah, just, <laughs> just the Gardetto. Just, just yeah. special request Gardettos. All pumpernickel. <laughs> yeah, this is great. We're, we're going to open up. Yep. Can we call? Uh, do we know anybody in the business? field we want to open call Dante he would would believe us call Dante and ask just like hey I think we should open up a shot putting lesbian bar (laughs) haha my good boy that's me being a gentleman Uh huh. but when you're watching the gentleman on Netflix that's not what you should be expecting right this is Guy Ritchie's series based on his movie and these guys aren't really incredible. gentlemen per se Not in this. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, virgin mary full of weed say it. hitler's balls, hitler's balls cocaine chickens and a priest with a shotgun does that sound like a typical gentleman to you Ooh. no 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 what am i talking about it's the gentleman guy Ritchie's never done a series before this, this is his first series uh-huh. um starring theo james the attractive man from white lotus mm-hmm. um and you know you you know Guy Ritchie from uh, oh, this, Snatch. I yeah, this there's Lock a cast Stock. of Low Down. Oh, it's ones. like those movies. Yeah, it's if you like Snatch and Lock. No, <laughs> if you like Snatch and Lock. No. <laughs> if you like Snatch and Lock. No, no, no. And Snatch. Stock, no. <laughs> if you like sta- Snatch and Lock and Stock. Snatch. If you like the movie Snatch, if you like the movie Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels, then you want to lose your shit. Over this wait, wait, you Netflix think show, these are two separate movies. Yes, Snatch and then Lock, Stock and Two. Smoking- I, kn- I know for a fact the the movie is Lock, Stock and Two Smoking Barrels. Yes, okay. And Snatch is another film, two different films, and they're much. They're, got they're, it, they're, got they're, it, yeah. The gentleman is this I've on great the juice. About all of it. Yeah, uh, it follows new cast of lowdown lords and ladies. Slumming it in Britain's criminal underworld. Guns out and pinkies up. Watch what happens when you try to play gangsters at their own game. Don't miss The Gentleman, now playing only on Netflix. (laughs) He is the only guy we could call. Just like, hey, we have like a bar idea. Do you think it would work in Chicago? And it's for, tell him it's for, for truck butches. (laughs) We got to get Yaz down for the grand opening. (laughs) Yeah, we gotta yeah. fly Yaz out from Iceland. Yeah. yeah. Tell me he's on anus. I don't wanna. No. Yo, yo, what up? Yo, um, me and Nick have a bar idea. I know that's kind of ambitious. Oh boy, what are you, what are you thinking? Is there any like big time like 
novelty themed lesbian bars in Chicago? <laughs> what do you mean by novelty themed? Uh, it'd be like, you know, like axe throwing bars. <laughs> yes, there are axe throwing bars. But no, but it would be shot putting. Like the field event. <laughs> you need a lot of space. Yeah, yeah, it'd be huge. Why do they usually fucking throw those things? It's far, isn't it? The the bigger the bigger the butch, the longer the, the, the It depends on the size of the, the butch. Did Nick say the lot the bigger the bush, the further the push? Yeah. I wish I did, but yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's a horrible, horrible visual. Tell me um, name. No, dude, you know what though? Like summertime mm -hmm. on uh the lake on one of the parks. We were thinking like, on a lake on a pier or something. Yeah. Irving Park. No, nah, there's like there's tons of parkland where uh that, yeah. They do pop ups and stuff. What do you do? You guys have a name? Yeah, I guess we could start with a pop up. Yeah, it's Lap and Field. So it's like you know how like there's track and field, but then like lap means to lick and field spelled F E E L, like to touch. <laughs> if we could even do a pop up, that'd be a great. Yeah, start. I would love to yeah. do that. Um, I think I don't know if this is gonna go over well with you two guys backing it and proposing it i think you need a we have yaz duncan from gay iceland face. well yeah no we do we have yaz duncan from gay iceland.com like she's open to um do all the funding for us and mr back it Grimsnarl. to spearhead it <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds like a like a no like a no-brainer then Okay, who is open to bar t the bounce? The uh, I think we're gonna have Miss Trenchbull no, the other one. and Grim Snarl. Oh, we got Grim Snarl on board. So, wow. all right, let's let's talk. Let's talk soon. I thought you were calling for a music help on a dozen questions. Oh, I expect this to call to go this way. All right, well, let's yeah, let's talk later. I think this is a good start, though. Yeah, well, uh, let me know if you guys want to put together a business plan. Cool. Okay. Thanks, Thank Dante. You. Thank you, Dante. Bye, guys. Yeah, so I guess it's going to happen. Yeah, so we're um, shoot for late summer, I guess. Yeah, late yeah. summer we'll do a pop up, and uh, we'll have, we'll have a lot of uts, mm. tons of uts. <laughs> <laughs> do, do uts make the onion, the fake funyuns as well? I'd be damned. I feel like Trader Joe's would. Who makes O oh yums? <laughs> on, yums. <laughs> on, on yums <laughs> by Rudolph's. No, but yeah. You, have, you, have you guys wise? Yeah, wise. The wise yeah, on your rings. Wise out here. <laughs> what do you think, Kyle? Have you guys? You haven't watched Love Is Blind? Just the first episode. I watched the first the episode. First episode. Oh my god! <clears throat> I, I, I couldn't do it. It is so painful, but it's I. I binged it they're so There's, long I've, there is i know for the sake of the entertainment in the show it worked perfectly but there is nothing there is no amount it could have failed by more it was the most failed experiment in the world so they fall in love without seeing each other and they have to propose in four weeks yeah and they all fell madly in love with everybody each other found a with partner with just voices like they were like crying so wait a minute wait a minute. so it has like 20 guys 20 girls and all of them ended not up all of them, but okay. a, a lot. And like they fell madly in love. And after the they revealed each other's like faces, got to see each other, nothing could have been worse. It's almost as if that's important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the, mm -hmm. the chemistry was. It, I've never seen less. Ke the, the chemistry between you could have picked two random people, regardless of sexual orientation, and they would all have better. Chemistry. If you're sleep deprived, surrounded by alcohol, in a weird setting, and have to talk to the same person every day. You're going to think you fall in love. That, yeah, that's what happened. It's almost like, interesting. There's that one guy I like. Matthew. Matthew. I'm enamored yeah. by Matthew. He just cool. walked out on a chick. First episode. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's yeah, like, a, he, he, he reminds me of Beast from X-Men. Yeah. Just like a big, he wears glasses and he's big. <clears throat> yeah. I, I had to stop the first episode. Not for me. There's one dude, a black, chill black dude. Real uh, suave. Not this, not, he's yeah, a he, principal. A 25 oh, okay. year old principal. <laughs> I he uh, met his his wife his fiance and uh, uh, just didn't even touch her like he wouldn't even like they were on a, they were in Putacana Kenneth <laughs> he's, 
<laughs> he just he would he would like stay five feet away from her, and she'd be like, "Was he afraid of her?" I like affection. Is he a stone? And he was like, "Oh, he might be a stone top." I think he might be gay. He ah, uh, he wouldn't even get near her, and she was like, "I like affection," and he was like, "Oh, word." Uh, <laughs> I've always been told I'm too affectionate. <laughs> she, I'm too touchy, and she was like, "You haven't even kissed me." He he didn't kiss her once. He didn't kiss her. No, and then finally she's like spilling her heart out to him like you don't even kiss me you don't even look at me you're always on your phone like i feel like there's no chemistry and he's like oh man if you feel that way then then i then i can't do this <laughs> then he just they break up and he's like now give me a hug so i know there's no beef and then he just calls his <laughs> homie and he picks him up and that's it oh yeah he's got <laughs> yeah <laughs> um i have uh two name games Perfect. Maybe I three. A, I have a few. My theme is uh, strong black women. Okay. SB dubs. Okay. Uh, telling Harry Potter you got him a magical twig, obviously, then immediately t tell him you're kidding. Okay. Telling Harry Potter you got him a magical twig, obviously, and then immediately tell him you were kidding. Wanda, Wanda Sykes. Sykes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Hell yeah, boy. Wanda yeah. Sykes. Sykes. Yeah. Sykes. <laughs> All right, this is my last one. This one took forever to write. Okay. A royal with a French Tifa. <laughs> Can I ask what a Tifa is? Don't know. Okay. A royal Queen Latifah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. Uh, what people with an accent clamor for after an episode of Anus? Monique. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Monique. They want Monique. Oh, fuck. Thank you. That's good. Yeah, thank you. You got any, Kyle? I have some, uh, I think I have some B-days from last week. Uh, rapper turning 34. Okay. Questioning the value of the silent letter in lasagna. <laughs> Oh, uh, G Easy? No. He's also dead. Is he? Jeez, Wait, no. What? No, he's not. Sorry. I was thinking of Easy E. Okay, go again. Say it again. It's YG. <laughs> uh, happy birthday to YG. Um, <laughs> Faux hunt it. Happy birthday to YG. <laughs> All right, this is. Yeah. Give me your dumbest. Um, Deer Deck teams up with Lizzo for this more progressive spinoff. Robin Thick. Robin Thick. <laughs> Happy birthday, Robin Thick, 47. Um, I cannot, I never can get a Kyle one. No. I can get yours. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can never get a Kyle one. This one, all right, this one will be, re this is for you. Uh, singer turn oh, I don't 30. want that. I want to take it. This is super easy. There's no, like, war like. Yeah, yeah keep doing your one. setup. Yeah, keep doing your setup. Lola, you're the naughtiest wabbit I've ever met. <laughs> Bad bunny. Yeah. Just, <laughs> come on. Uh, Wait, do your bugs again? Lola, you're the naughtiest wabbit I've ever have you ever seen Looney Tunes? Yeah, what? Does he have a lisp? That's Daffy Duck. Lola, you're the naughtiest wabbit. <laughs> it's Daffy Duck. Yeah. What does bug sound like? Search, uh, search Looney Tunes, but by the way. But he says, like, wabbit. Like, Rotus. I'm pretty sure weird. if you scroll down, search Looney Tunes characters. The, like, the Google autofill ha just, just has a picture of a regular duck for Daffy. No, shit. This morning I had a regular duck for Daffy. Never mind. Yeah, you're confusing Daffy with bugs. What does bugs sound like? Eh, what's up, Doc? That's a that's a yeah. similar speech. You no. Uh, oh, jeez. What was it bad? Give us a hard one. Okay. Impossibly. Female celebrity turning forty-two. Theo's penis had me like. <laughs> Kat Von D. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is crazy. I was looking at some of the birthdays. Like this, these are celebrity birthdays. Yeah. Uh, happy twenty first to Absorber. Who the fuck's Absorber? <laughs> Why would you choose uh, that to be your fucking? Happy twenty second to Paradise with two I's and two D's. <laughs> happy twenty fourth to Undos. <laughs> It's like the, the restaurant. Italian restaurant. Undos really? is a meme obsessed star who is widely known for his Undos account. <laughs> he has gained massive popularity for his hilarious memes. <laughs> Happy 26th, the Sub Zero X to bite. <laughs> who are these people? Happy is this from Celeb Birthdays? Yeah. Happy 31st, Danny Gogo. Happy 24th to Unjaded Jade. <laughs> Yeah. How are these? <laughs> I feel like I don't even know you anymore, Jade. <laughs> Happy 13th to Bad Kid Paris. <laughs> this is my favorite one. <laughs> Happy 31st to Tucker Boner. Who <laughs> is a Counter Strike YouTuber? Tucker Boner? Tell me that's not his real not, name. No. That's oh, that's Tucker Boner. That's his real name. He no, goes by, he's fake. It goes he's by fake. 2 Jericho 2. But he his was, real name's he was born William Tucker Boner. His name's Tucker Boner. William Tucker Boner. So it's <laughs> Will Tucker Boner. Dick, <laughs> Willie, it's Dick Tucker Boner. That's incredible. And he dated Sonya Red, of course. Tucker Boner? Yeah, you're going to go by Jericho. How do you not use that for your username? Is that his girlfriend? She's hot. That's Sonya Reed. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> You're right, bro. What's happened to you, man? That's Sonia Reed. <laughs> That's the second time in two weeks that's happened to both of you. Yep. I know. We were in Dune 2. Zendaya came on screen. And I choked on my Coke Icy when I saw Zendaya for the first time. <laughs> Audibly. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I was dying and coughing. You had the Got forehead. He had the forehead vein trying to contain the following shockwaves. <laughs> Beautiful lady. Yeah. Was that what caused it? No, I was just choking on I was just, just slurping choked. my Coke too much. Mm hmm. Was good it, on, good on Tucker Boner. Tucker Boner was IMAX immersive. Did you get high? Did yeah, did get. I didn't get that high. I I, I dabbled. I uh, a light a light buzz. It was it was uh the IMAX yeah it, the sound is this is lame but yeah the sound is lit the sound is sound nice. is lit sound was yeah. great yeah good movie. I don't know if you'd like it, Kyle. Yeah, I don't know. Probably not. It's a lot like Love is Blind. But I could see you just really getting into lore of a sci-fi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Got to get you into something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to yeah. continue Love is Blind, but I'm only going to watch the Matthew scenes, I think. I can't do it. It's too... The cuts are weird. There's like... Uh, it's too high energy for me. It overstimulates me. I don't like how what? curated the rooms They're, are. I'm thinking of like... Chelsea's dating some like bumpkin... Oh. And she always accuses him of not like kissing her enough. I did. I fuck. I did kiss you three times. Chelsea's dating a bumpkin. Yeah, you'd have to see it. <laughs> I'm I'm all in on Bachelor still. It's almost yeah, done. how's that going? This one girl, Daisy, she has a cochlear implant, and that's all she can talk about. Um, she like, she's the one. She's with, the favorite. Uh, yeah, she has lupus. No Lyme disease. Lyme disease. My brother has Lyme disease. Your brother does? Yeah. Damn. My brother's a field biologist, so kind of comes Damn. with the job. So you and your brother both kind of have a no <laughs> disease. His is forever. <laughs> Mine was beaten. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you guys see Sydney Sweeney's mirror pick? Yeah, it's mirror pretty, pick. It's pretty yeah. cool. Pretty cool. Are, are we very cool stuff? Do you think she enjoys like being objectified this much? No. That's why I'm not going to do it. That's why I don't want to watch it. So watch it. The red one. The first one 22 hours ago. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. There's two mirrors. Yeah. She's married be, woman, though. She's so. going to be cold on that marble floor. Married woman. She's married? Yeah. To who? Some guy that has is very secure. Didn't she break up with him for the dude? For no, Glenn dude, Powell? that was all publicity stunt. Glenn Powell, I believe, is engaged. Oh, she's mad. Okay, yeah. Who's her husband? She doesn't post them. Doesn't post them. Jonathan Davino. What, Reed? You're pissed? You want him to be hot? <laughs> what was that? Oh, he's not hot. <laughs> 
<laughs> He's a businessman from Chicago. Oh, let's get him for lap and field. Oh, true. Yeah, let's email him. Post the face. Angel investor. Sydney Sweeney would that, that she would be so safe there, or no? Would they wouldn't like her, right? Sydney, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know enough about lesbians. Yeah, we're a little bit out of our depth. Do you even have a lesbian's phone number? Uh, no. Well, there's there's like uh, I feel like there's like you know this new movement of like sexually fluid people who might cl but i'm talking about like a straight up old school mm -hmm. old school tried mm -hmm. and true lesbian i got one. i would like to know i think i i think i think i have one you have a lesbian's phone like a tried and true i don't know if i have her phone number but i know her denver is is oh yeah, yeah that's mecca yeah yeah when lyft and uber came out they were running that shit mm -hmm. crazy <laughs> that you would you would have a lot of a lot of lesbians drivers mm -hmm. yeah and they are responsible on the road bordering on road rage but never crossing the threshold what kind of music do they listen? I, I need to learn i need to really immerse myself well in at that culture. time it was a lot of skrillex oh yeah <laughs> the, the same haircut yeah. yes mm -hmm. dude i watched a, a jack u set from 2015 and it's like stepping into a different world oh i listened to the 2014 red rocks mothership skrillex set the other day and it is yeah. it is like being in a different. I watched it like I think it was at in Chicago at Soldier Field, and the, but the, I'm talking about the people, like the culture of people and like the fashion. It yeah. feels like people that don't exist. It was the rare collision of neon and V-necks. Neon, uh, huge hats, like yes. girls, like the hot girls were all big, having yeah. big, big hats. hats yeah. on there. What the fuck? They look like Final Fantasy characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah with feathers, feathers were big, uh -huh. like, like a fur vest. What's Jack you? Uh, it's Diplo, Diplo and, and Skrillex. And Skrillex had a little the thing. flower crown. Oh, mm -hmm. maybe we should just do a music festival. No, no, no. I want shot put bar. They don't want music I festival. I want the shot put bar. Yeah, Mook. What did uh, what did you get into in Madison, Mac? Yeah, yeah. Talk to me, Mook. Yeah. Uh, good time. Um, Francis fat shamed me. What? As soon as we got there. Uh, Thursday night, I ordered Burger King. Okay, but what was you're not this, you're not fat presenting though. Uh, but yeah, I, just, I need to lose some weight, and he I told him I ordered Burger King on Friday, and then he took me clothes shopping and offered to buy me a shirt, like a button down, but he would only buy me at uh, a size down. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So, so now I have <laughs> I have a flannel that I have to fit into. Uh, the next time I see him, and it's it's working. Is he's like a pageant mom to you, mm -hmm. basically? Yeah. yeah. Um, spending time with Francis is fun. He's the man, but it's like yeah, a lot is going on. Uh, he and I like couldn't have. I think we just have very different lives. Oh yeah, he. It seemed like he was the one who was overwhelmed by you. Yeah. What, he, were, what he, was what was your? Yeah, he does exact. He's drama. He's a he, dramatizer. He was having fun, and then the next. Day, what was your fun move? Like posted up, or were you mingling? Yeah, we were just like talking to college kids, which is like a whole new. Are you good at? I would be so bad at talking oh, to college kids. It was tough, but like you kind of just have to fuck with them a little bit. Like eighteen, like in Wisconsin, it was Mom's weekend, so there were a lot of like underage kids at the bars with their moms, with their moms or parents, and uh, oh, because you can go to the bar with your parents in Wisconsin when you're like thirteen. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, so it was just we were mingling with college kids, and like they just say funny shit because they're dumb. Yeah. Um, but it was a good time. It was a good time. He wingman for me on Friday. Great. Did you end up in a sorority yeah, house? Say wingman. Success? Did he? Was he successful at all? He was good. I wasn't successful. Uh, but he he just. Do you get any phone numbers? A couple phone numbers. A couple queens. Saturday mm. night went out with a sorority. It was just me, Francis's friend, and like eight blonde girls. Wait, really? <laughs> you went out with a whole sorority or like a large portion of yeah, one? Shout out at wisconsin oh, no. <laughs> no, no no i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not no, no. i'm not endorsing kaya yes. i'll bleep, I'll bleep that <laughs> but yeah it was did you a, get any snaps is that how it works you yeah did you snap? get a snapchat or something no i think that's how they operate though still do you think yeah. we're older than any college parents college? yeah well uh, no no no, no it's i think we might be older than at least a few that's not no. possible 
We'd have to have a kid at 14. Yeah, that's a thing. 14. Remember, our a local middle school had a bunch of parents. I'm going to get called out. Yeah, I'd use the calculator for fucking 31 <laughs> minus 17. Okay, yeah. We are. No, uh, yeah, probably like one or two. Yeah, it's impressive. But I would also say if a parent has you at 14, chances are that kid's not going no to college. college. No college. No, that's not a college kid. That's a trade college. school child. <laughs> that's a yeah. that you, that's a trade school kid. That's a friend yeah. at a certain point at an, a certain age. Yeah, yeah. But just like <laughs> recognizing when a kid's a trade school kid young would be so funny to like like Rudy, if you had a kid, <laughs> Yeah. I would get him like a little onesie that says like future, future barber. Future welder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It'd be like that. It's like that. It's like that scene in Interstellar. Oh, yeah, where he's like, oh, he's good in school, but since we live in this dystopian future, he's going to be a farmer. Yeah, right. At fourteen, future union member. Yeah, <laughs> future. <laughs> we might get some shit for this. That might be like a thing. Like, yeah, proud union. Oh no, that's a better guy. job than going to school. I mean, none of us are using our degree. None. Dude, pl if you're like a high level plumber, you clear money. Electricians, Electricians? Yeah. Good God. Yeah. And you have to be an apprentice for like longer than college. I'm envious. And of you could fucking die. Yeah, I'm on their side when I say it's it's <laughs> not easy. It's yeah. it's brutal work. I don't know why you don't want to do labor. You don't want to do labor um for a salary. I don't think just and nobody wants I to. I bet do you it that. feels good. No, I bet you I bet it feels, feels rewarding. I bet it feels rewarding. And I don't think if, if, if physically at least it can keep being able keep to fix shit. shit by yourself. That is cool. Me having to call another man to fix my dryer, and he walked in and all my clothes were on the floor. I don't know. I wouldn't want to be able to fix a dryer. I would that's too. That's almost feminine. Fixing a dryer like, is feminine. Like the buttons to push to fix a dryer. <laughs> no, dude. It was, what do you do? Leak it, the 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 uh, igniter was out. Oh yeah, I don't even know what that means. Yeah, and being able to just fix an igniter. Yeah, I know. Cool. It would be. Yeah, I have none of those skills. Um. The, my bloodline is done for when it comes to it. I won't buy a home. No? I won't buy a house. Yeah, you will. Ever. Yeah, you will. Uh, because you don't want to or because... The upkeep. So what will you buy? An apartment? Like a penthouse? Not a penthouse, but an apartment. <laughs> Jeez, <Burke. laughs> What do you... You really think highly of us. I don't like know. Like a townhome? I don't know. Not. I don't want a yard. I do. I want to have a big green egg and be able to cook you boys breakfast sandwiches before a tailgate. That's my goal. Oh, yeah, like a yeah. Traeger? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Mm. That'd be cool. That'd be tight. I like apartments. I don't. I do. I'm ready to be done. Really? Yeah. You want a little yard? Yeah. A little fence? Yeah, and a cavapoo. Some, like, shitty... Like, I do like how, like, some... When you get it's a place... It's a cavapoo. So it's a King Cavalier and a poodle. Mini poodle. Oh my god. Hi. Oh, that's a golden doodle. No, that's a cavapoo, oh. baby boy. No. Hi there. Reached out to a breeder. Is this cute? Mm hmm. Your dog guy, huh? You're dead set on a cavapoo. Yeah, I am. They're smart and don't shed, and they're kind of a uh, little lazy. So don't have to do the big long walks. What are you going to name it? Um, I think I want a girl. Never had a girl dog. So I don't know. Girl dog names are tough. Stone Butch. Stone, Stone Butch. Butch. Yeah. Butch. <laughs> this is my lesbian dog, Butch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask the breeder for a lesbian dog. Yeah. <laughs> animals animals can be gay. Yeah. A lot of birds are gay. A lot of birds are gay? Mm -hmm. Why? F fuck if I know. But a lot of my brother taught me that. A lot of birds are gay. I'm obsessed with sheep, birds. cattle, I house. Want, I want. I was thinking. We actually. I had, I had the talk. Wait, what's that it. last animal? Cats, dogs, and budgerigars. That sounds like a Pokemon. sheep, cattle, a horses. Gang of my faves. <laughs> oh, a budgie. I love birds are the best. Birds are so smart. I love I was, birds. I was, I was like seriously considering a pet bird. I think it may be annoying. Definitely. But, oh my god. They're stimulating. I we had a parrot for a few years. Yeah, we talked about that. It's yeah. famous now on TikTok. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should kick it with my brother. Um, really? No, well, he's an expert in birds. Oh, I, I would rather just like DM him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't need to like be physically present. To, Got it. Yeah, tell cool. him I love birds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be embarrassing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else, boys? Housekeeping. Uh, I have one DM. Shopping Network's coming, by the way. It's coming. Yeah. 
I had one DM. Send send me DMs if you guys are looking for stuff for us to look at on the podcast. Oh yeah. This guy just said, and th- these are the DMs that I love. A guy who's reluctantly a guy who reluctantly puts stuff in his butt during a prison cell inspection. Shy LaBeouf. <laughs> That's good. That's good, good stuff. Right? Yeah, send those. Yeah. Those are really fun. People have been yeah. sending me them, and they, they've been good. I've been, I've try, been, I've been solving people. Yeah. So yeah, I've been stumped by people. Um, the only other housekeeping I have is uh, I know I'm not great on the computer over here. Oh, I'm fucking with you. Stop telling me to kill myself in my DM. <laughs> oh yeah, stop that. <laughs> stop stop that. that. Uh, you, it's fun. Okay, even when I fuck up, it it makes it fun. It's fun. So fuck off. <laughs> oh, I'm actually yeah. not mad at you for doing that. that. It's actually it's good. Yeah. And I have people tell him like, not to die. I have people like kill yourself. Nick and KB can't stand you. Like, <laughs> shut the fuck up. I guess we hang out with you. <laughs> All right, yeah, there we go. fuck up. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, yeah. maybe believe that. I, yeah, sure. Yeah. No, like, I feel that. I, mean, I feel it. Feel no, anger. don't. Um, yeah, don't. Don't tell Mook to die. Actually, everybody DM Mook and tell him to live. Yeah, that's actually yeah, a way worse punishment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find somebody remastered a WFB song. Oh, what do you mean remastered it? Like made it better? I have no idea. Make it sound crispier. Crisp, yeah, made it crispier. Smoother audio, crunchier even. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you have been listening to Jack U. That's a that's a term. That is a term crunchy. from that era. <laughs> yeah, that this baseline is crunchy. crunchy. <laughs> the descriptors they have for womps back in the day was yeah. that was a funny time to be alive. I'm telling you, uh, yeah. Jack U, 2015, Spring Awakening, get high, watch that, and I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Mm. What what do they call them? Boys? Oh. What? Yeah, Wooks. Wooks. Yeah. Do you guys know that account I followed? Uh, it was like just Pokemon and random sports paraphernalia. Mm-hmm. They blocked me. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yes. Don't fuck with us. Yeah. Jay's two cannon blocked me. Probably that's, probably your, that's probably your fault. What did I? Did I oh, what did I say? It's probably just a block by association. You stay. You always are clowning on them. On Pokemon. Oh yeah. No, I messaged him once. I ratioed him. I asked him to do a. A Pokemon and a Cookie Monster hat and blocked me. <laughs> oh. What do you mean you ratioed him? I, uh, I just copy and pasted the uh, the link to you. Hopefully yeah. this is good. I haven't listened yet because I'm so embarrassed from this rap shit. This rap shit. <laughs> <laughs> this rap. All right. Dude, I can't believe we're about to have a bar. It's exciting. Well, I'll make the logo. <laughs> Do we want it to be called Lap and Field? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Those are knee jerk gut reaction. Oh, fuck. Here we go. All right, ready? Yeah. Maybe you just sent a virus. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. I'm really afraid. 58 May. So you haven't listened May. to this? No. <laughs> All right, asshole. Yeah, Do you just make it louder? Do you just make it louder? <laughs> it <is> so <laughs> I think he did. Incomprehensibly loud. Okay, ready? Yeah. The right to vote. It's just clearer. All right. Yeah, no. Nah. All right, enough. Sounds better. <laughs> yeah. Was, this was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. Yeah, the drums sound much better. I had to have a, a uh, yeah. My girlfriend was like, "Hey, what's this post?" And I was just like, "That's just a high school rap group. Don't listen." And she didn't. She didn't listen. Oh, no, she what? listened. She didn't listen to the rap group. She listened, she listened to, to you. Yeah. I don't believe that. She listened. Yes. How do you not gonna listen? I yeah. would know if she listened. Oh. Because it'd be stuck in her head. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to me. I have hits and a misses. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Right. Uh-huh. 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 <laughs> that was sick of me to say. Mm-hmm. You just got misses. <laughs> that's and some you get shit, that's some shit I would get say. That, nah, that's some shit I would on say. by men. Because they think you're gay. <laughs> shit. That is some shit you'd say. You probably have said that. I have. Damn. Yeah, some old shit I would say. <laughs> like like eighth grade. Eighth grade shit. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Um, no. Um Look, if you're in the Chicago area, be on the lookout for the 
les uh, the butch lesbian shot put bar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mook will be celebrity bartender. They'll do body shots off of you. <laughs> I'm down. Let's go. Yeah, be doing body shots off Mook. <laughs> or those big women will probably use you as a shot ski. No, they're probably. Gonna- Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mook will be the the human the shot, shot ski. ski. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Mook, will you do it? Yeah. Fuck yeah! yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. God bless.